So welcome back everyone, welcome back to the Man Cave and welcome back to the channel. So thank you to everyone who commented on Instagram, commented on the last Junk Bike Build video on YouTube. Everyone was sharing lots of cool memories about all the different frames that I showed I had. It was a closer run competition than I thought it was going to be. There's a lot of love for each of those frames. The White Limey was very popular and the Red Impulse. I think we all know who's always going to be the winner of that competition and of course it was golden limey prototype that's always going to be the winner i think so this beast of the bike is going to get built up like i said it's got a few tiny cracks in it but we can manage those it'll be rideable still the next stage is i want to go head into the garage and try and find some appropriate parts for this bike i'm not actually sure what i've got in the garage so it's going to be a bit of an adventure so we're in the garage and it's time for the scavenger hunt to start now this isn't going to be some over-dramatised storage hunter type thing where I, you know, I move a box and some golden bike parts encrusted with diamonds are suddenly going to appear. See, I know I have some parts in here and I know roughly where some parts are, but there's a lot of parts I don't know if I have or where any of it is. There's a few boxes and drawers which I haven't opened in years and years, so I might find some gold in there might find some complete rubbish. Uh, like I said in the last video, I'm going to try and keep this roughly age appropriate. So nothing that modern, nothing from my current bikes. It's all going to be kind of, you know, from 2010-ish onwards. So I'm going to start with the parts so I know where they are. Well, what direction they're all in. And that is like wheels and tyres and that kind of stuff. Because I know I've got a pile of tyres over there. Uh, not sure if any of them are good, but we'll have a look. So we've got some tyres in here, some wheels. So I'm going to try and untangle all of this and see what we've got. So yeah, quite a good little find back there. I didn't realize there was that much there. So got quite a pile here. So we've got the classic Onza porcupine rim, which is really cool. And so I'll put that aside. We've got, I'm not sure what this wheel is from, but it's a classic of some kind, but it weighs an, oh, weighs a ton this thing. I think I might be filled with lead that hub. Well, we'll put that to another side. I think we'll be using that one. We've got a Trial Tech disc hub with a, ah, again with a Onza hub. So that might be quite good for the build. We'll put that in a good pile. And then another Onza wheel. I've had this one years, I remember this on my old Genesis. Onza hub, Onza one, this was just bulletproof and it's still perfect. So again, we'll put that in a good pile. And while I was rummaging around, I found a couple of hubs. Don't know if Bond is a bit too modern, but well, it's handy to have them. Right, so pile of tyres. Jitsi, far too modern for this bike got oh i went for a phase of loving these tires so you've got the kinder never gal sticky these are good john tomac signatures got a decent amount of tread on them which is good so that'll go well no we'll put it in a good part aren't we and good old schwabler big betty again went through a phase of running these all the time Again, good amount of tread. Right, we'll put that in a good pile. I think every trials rider went 
has used these. Maxis Super Tacky high rollers. I think we've got to definitely have a Maxis on because I love these. I'm not even sure where this is from. I don't think I used it. Well, a bit of mud in there. But yeah, I don't think I actually use this properly. But again, probably age appropriate. So I'll put it in the good pile. So next thing I know roughly what it is, is handlebars. I know they're up there somewhere. Right, so we've got a few sets of bars up there. We've got... Ooh. Good old trial techs. And I think I'll use these just after the golden bike, but I use these for a long time. I'm a really big fan of them. So I'll put them in the good pile. So next are the original bars for my current bike, the Jitsi. But yeah, we're not gonna be using them, so we can leave those out. Right. None of this modern stuff. So we've also got some motorbike bars. I like the retro look, but I think they might be a bit too much for a, a build from the 2000s. Right, here we go, right here we've got some good stuff. So I think these are off my old jump bike. Again, classics. I don't think they're age appropriate, but I think they could be pretty good to have. So we'll put them in a good pile. And again, some motorbike bars. Don't really fit the bike. So the last thing that I know where it is, well, roughly, I know there's a set of forks in the rafters somewhere. Um, not sure why I put them years ago, but I know there's up there, somewhere. <laughs> Couldn't see them, but I saw another wheel, so I, I, need, a, I need a ladder. <laughs> so I thought you could come exploring with me on this one. Oh, oh God. Right, so we've got the good old, we've got a bike bag. We've got a huge Dakine bike bag, which was amazing. But what took up half my flight allowance, so not that great. There's a wheel there. I do not see forks. I'm not sure how stable this ladder is. Right. <laughs> Aha, I see forks and I can't reach forks. There's a wheel there as well, so I'm gonna try and get that. <laughs> uh, actually, I don't know if I will bother with these, but God, these were a ton. Does anyone can work out what these are? 10 points to Gryffindor if you can. Don't think they'd be great for the build, but. All right, I've got to get these forks now. Uh, fitting up here. Can you look for me, please? There we go. There we go, so you've got some forks. What forks these are? I think these are Bond's forks. Yeah, Bond forks. A little bit more modern than the Limey. I think these are from 15, 16, but these may be the only option. So we'll keep these in the good pile. See, now things get a bit more adventurous and serious because I'm out of ideas. I don't know where anything else is. So it's gonna be time to rummage through a few piles and drawers and stuff and see what we find, right. Immediately I can see uh, trial stem. That's age appropriate. So that's still got a 
sticker from a world round on there. So that goes in the pile. We've got yeah, old Monty seat. Uh, don't think I need it, but it's good now it's there. Uh, got a TRP V brake lever. Uh, we'll keep that out just in case, but I'm going to try again, Maggie. Here we've got some gold. I said I wasn't going to be gold, but we've got some gold. Look at that. An old tensile chain tensioner, which was definitely not a copy of a roll off tensioner. Tensile, but yeah. Okay, so so far nothing that's really gonna help to build, I don't think. What's that? Got a trial tech crank with a GT pedal. Now I don't remember ever using these pedals, so I have no idea where this contraption has come from. We'll put that back for now. So let's have a look up here. See, I know there's pedals here. So we've got some some more classics there. I'm gonna see if I find out a little bit better. Got some DMR V8s. We've definitely gotta keep those. We've got a, I want to say, I think this is no trial tech stem. We'll keep that, so we'll put these on the pile. Right, so the pile's doing okay. Right, I think this is a parts drawer, but I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Nope, it's a tape drawer. That's good. Well, we know that tape thick as everything. Oh, no, more tape. Sure, there's parts in here somewhere. Yeah. Ah. Now we're talking, right? Ah. Stuff. Right. So you've got. Tensile. Free will. Oh no! Sorry. It's a we haven't got a tensile free will, just in the box. But we have a Monty four paw. Oh. So you see kid, listen to that. Back in the day we dreamed of engagement like this. It's amazing. You might have to leave that out. Again we've got a V brake system. So I ran V brake for a few years. Let's just get that out just in case. We've got a trial pedal and a gusset pedal. All right. I'm not sure why I've got odd pedals. Oh, now then, look at that. We've got a Megamo stem. And see that sticker was from Scrutineering at a World Round in Czech Republic. So that's how old this is. So this must be 1999. Wow. And we've got a Brissa stem. Look at that. I think a few of the guys were only talking about this the other day. So I, I never used it, it just came with a bike once, but I think you had to use Brissa bars with this stem. And apparently the Geo is pretty awful, but you were stuck with it. Um, we've got an assortment of free wheels, and this one's pretty seized up. This is an Echo free wheel, seized a bit. Rockman free wheel. Oh, a tiny battering. I think we've done well there. A few of 
see more additions to the pile. Now I think this next cupboard was used for brakes or something like that. But again, because the bikes were always parked in front of it, haven't used it for years. So we'll have a look, see what's in here. I seem to remember there being a few, a few goodies in here. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, so we've got hype box, Mercury box. I think this might be my dad's, my dad's collection of Mercurys. Oh, maybe not. It's just a mountain of brake lamps. I don't know if my dad's got an underground business of Magura brake lamps, but you know, if you see these on the black market, you know who sold them. A couple of disc rotors, be handy. But we've got. Ooh, shiny thing. Brake boosters. Oh. Tensile one. Nice carbon one there. Look at all the old Magira ones. I'm sure we're going to find a use for this. So we'll keep that out. And back there we've got So we've got Quicksilver, complete Quicksilver, awesome. And uh, this is what I was looking for. Now, I think these, some of these are off limits, but I thought I'd just show you some of the collection. We've got Magura Frogs. Look at these bad boys. So I never use these, but these are just, yeah, real classics. We've got one Black Lever and one Hydro Dipped one that my dad done. Now I think this is the box. This is the mega one. This needs oh, proper space. I think this one. Let's see what we've got in this. We've got everything. We've got so really old. Look at that extra long lever blade trial one. We've got. Four or pre O four red ones. We've got Junior, I don't know what hell that's from. HS eleven. Again, I think it's an old HS I mean HS eleven. They've been hydro dipped. And some very faded race lines. I want to laugh at it. Oh. I was only putting that out to show you an old tensile lever, okay, based on the old RB designs. Another classic build. Oh, and last, well, actually, no, last cool thing was custom lever blades from Hope, not sponsored by Hope, had custom lever blades and top caps. One more hope box. I've got actually a complete hope here. An old hope. That could be pretty cool to use actually. So we'll keep that, that's gonna go in the good pile. Oh, and another little last minute find. Probably not right for this bike, but another vintage machine there. So there we go, we've got most of a build right there, all relatively age appropriate. So we've got the frame, forks, bars, two stem options there. Um, got brakes, got double rim brakes there, and also got an old V brake in case I'm feeling a bit adventurous there. Uh, I did find some cranks as well. I think they might be a bit newer, I think they might be like 2013, 14, they're not quite age appropriate. But they're going to be attached to pedals from the 90s, so I think that kind of evens out. Going for front rim brake. I do have a spare 
disc wheel there, but no disc brake to go with it. So for now we're going rim brake. I decided to go double maxis, so I could have a matching pair. So yeah, the only thing I'm missing is a rear wheel. That's just a front rim to show it's almost built. I've got a rear hub, but I don't think it's going to fit that frame. So that is the only thing missing. I think it's not too bad at all from a bit of a garage junk bike build and a random find. I think I've got everything there. So the next stage will be to get it all built up. Well, actually, the next stage will be to see if anything actually fits together because it's all from different ages. So things may not be compatible. I'm not sure if the forks will fit in that frame, but and yeah, we'll try and find an appropriate rear wheel. But for an hour rummaging around in the garage, I think that is a good old find. Right, let's get it built up.